So tar spot is one of the easiest uh, corn diseases to identify. Uh, where it really becomes problematic is when the disease is first starting on. So this corn plant, you can see, has quite a bit of disease going on. But um, I did pull a leaf off where you can see that there's fewer tar spots occurring. Um, you can see that, that the spots are, are they're not very dense. And so um, that's when it can be a little bit more problematic when the disease is first starting on to see when to identify it. So the easiest thing to do is wet your finger. Um, one of the tricks is just kind of spit on your finger. Just get a little wet and then see if you can rub that spot off. And you can see that this is clearly tar spot and that that, that spot is not rubbing off. So that is one of the, the ways to identify it. Um, here we have a leaf where it's, you're seeing a lot more disease going on. Um, you can see that we've got a lot of different types of spots appearing on this one leaf. So here you can see that this is what we call the, the fisheye lesion. So you see that you have that necrosis around it. You also have what I guess you consider the classic uh, tar spot where you're just seeing that spot um, and, and no fisheye lesions. We have some that are elongated, um, but really you know, it's, it's all caused by the same pathogen. Why you have these different developments, it's not quite clear at this time. There's a lot of research going on to try to figure that out. One other interesting thing to point out on this leaf is that um, you can see a northern corn leaf blight lesion right here. And that's fairly common to see tar spot occurring with, with other corn diseases as well. So here we have a hybrid that is similar in maturity to what we saw previously, but it does have more tolerance to tar spot. You can see that the hybrid does have the disease, but the level of disease is much reduced. Once again, this disease is developing from the bottom up you can see that these lower leaves tend to have um, heavier tar spot, but not nearly at the same level as what we saw in that previous hybrid. Once again, you do see some movement up into that upper canopy, but once again, it's much reduced. You're seeing much fewer tar spots and it's, it's staying below.